many people know about lung cancer screening. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Omar Awan. I'm a physician and public health contributor for Forbes.com. I wanna talk about everything you need to know about lung cancer screening. Now, lung cancer is an extremely common cancer in America, both men and women, and it's actually the most common cause of cancer death amongst American men and women. In this year alone, according to the American Cancer Society, more than 127,000 individuals will die of lung cancer. And what's worse is, is that according to the American Lung Association, 44% of these lung cancers will be diagnosed at a late stage, which results in decreased survival. Only 7% of those individuals will survive five years. So really important for us to talk about lung cancer screening and how we can prevent a lot of these lung cancers. So who should get screened? Well, according to the United States Preventive Services Task Force, if you're between the ages of 50 and 80, you should get screened. There's actually three criteria. So one is if you're between the ages of 50 and 80, you should get screened. Also, if you're a current smoker or you've quit within the last 15 years, you should get screened. And also the third criteria is if you have a 20 pack year history of smoking, you should get screened. Well, what does that mean? That's really confusing, right? I myself didn't really know what a 20 pack year history is. Well, it means that if you've smoked on average one pack of cigarettes a day for 20 years, that's a 20 pack year history. That could also mean you smoking five packs a day for four years or two packs a day for 10 years. All those are equivalent to 20 pack year history. So if you meet those three criteria, you should absolutely get lung cancer screening. Well, how do you get lung cancer screening? Well, it's actually a low dose CT scan. So a low dose CT scan is the only method to screen for lung cancer. And it's really a two minute study. It takes two minutes to do. It's a specialized form of x-rays that allows you to go into a machine. You lie on a table. The machine takes images, x-ray images and pictures of your lungs and then a radiologist will interpret your study and assess if you have nodules or lung cancer, essentially. Study itself has a little bit of radiation, one to four millisieverts of radiation, which is the equivalent of, you know, walking outside in the sun for about six months. So really low radiation. Uh, it's probably three to four times less radiation than a normal CT scan of the chest. So a low dose CT provides very minimal radiation to you. Are there any risks associated with getting screening? Well, yeah, there are. There are little risks um, that aren't really too serious. One is false positives, you know, having or getting a diagnosis of lung cancer when in fact none exists. That false positive rate is about 13% according to some research in the journal Academic Radiology. Uh, so about a little bit more than one in 10 cases, you'll have a false positive. The other is overdiagnosis. You know, diagnosing lung cancer when in fact that would never have harmed you. So let's just say you're going about your day, you, you would never have known that you had lung cancer and you die from something else that's not related to lung cancer, right? So overdiagnosis can also sometimes occur. And the final risk is very minimal chance of radiation induced cancer. So certainly getting one low dose CT will never cause cancer, right? But if you're getting this on a yearly basis for 30 or 40 years, then there's a really, really rare chance that you could get uh, radiation induced cancer. But again, that is an extremely rare event. So very low risk to get this uh, study done. And then finally, does this test actually save lives? Absolutely it does, right? So according to the American Lung Association, you know, getting low dose CT can reduce death by 20%. And that translates to having 12,000 less deaths from lung cancer every single year. That's a big number. If we can save 12,000 lung cancer deaths, that's a big deal, right? But what's worrisome and what's sad is, is that less than 6% of the American population that's eligible to get lung cancer screening is actually getting screened. So that means more than nine in 10 people that should get screened for lung cancer are literally not getting the test that could potentially save their life. So really important for all of us to educate ourselves about lung cancer screening. If you fit into those three criteria that I talked about, please get a low dose CT scan. It could be the difference between your life and death. And please tell all your loved ones about lung cancer screening. Hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for your attention. Please subscribe to our MedEd page, YouTube channel. Please support our mission in providing free public health knowledge to the world so everyone can benefit. And as always, please be kind to yourself and to those around you.